We are 24 hours before leaving Brazil. Yeah, that's right. After years dreaming of sailing the world, this is actually happening. In only two days, we leave for our longest passage yet. A 2,300 nautical miles trip from Recife, Brazil, to the island of Granada in the Caribbean. Land ho! I'm Roberta. And I'm Duke. And after two years bringing the sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life, it's finally time to start exploring. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. Two days to go. Every place we go that we need to connect the shore power, it's a different outlet, so Duke is working on this. There. We have no batteries charged, it's 40%. And I'm trying to organize inside the boat, there's a lot of things that we need to charge. So we did a math, and this is all we need of water for 15 to 20 days of trip for three people. I wish we had one water maker so we would not need to carry eight bottles of 20 liters of water. What we are doing now, we bought some mints and it comes on this plastic bucket that weighs a lot of space on the boat. And now I'm getting one by one and putting in little plastic bags and we vacuum seal. That's really cool. We just bought this machine that's really cheap. It was like, I think, 10, $15. And we can vacuum seal everything we put in the freezer and we make it small like this so instead of the big black bucket we have just like a little thing I'm gonna show you how to do it let's see what's going on over it's, here it's, oh, a, it's yeah. a teamwork <laughs> <laughs> here. close great vacuum Time. Now wait. Seal. We're good to go. Take the vacuum. Just like that. Wow. It's gonna take so much less space on the freezer and we can have more food on the freezer. We got this idea of checking Instagrams yes. because there is a guy that has chickens on board. Oh he <laughs> did hit this in his boat. <laughs> Not with his chicken. No, his chi no, his chicken no, is just no, his no. Yeah, no, he didn't kill his chicken. It's the French guy? Yeah, he's awesome. Uh, no, no, he's no, not the French no, guy. Josh. Okay. This guy actually been in Brazil and he got the chicken in Brazil. So it's a Brazilian it's chicken. Okay. Pessoa, one hour it's from like here. one hour from here. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's pretty cool. One more challenge for today, we need to take the anchor out and the reason for that is because we're going to go probably for the first, I don't know, six hours upwind and this anchor when we go upwind sometimes it hits and makes some noise and like there's no need, we're going to be 15 days offshore, we have no need of anchor. Of course, if the engine fails right in front of the yacht club, it's a problem, so we're going to leave on the stern and if necessary, we just let go a stern anchor and we're also going to take some weight out of the bow for the offshore crossing is always good one day until we get out of here. Today was the day that we were like, no, we're gonna have everything done by Wednesday and Thursday we're not gonna do anything. <laughs> we have so much to do today. No, both. Why are you putting a zip tie in the middle of your seat there, bud? Uh, just to look good. <laughs> just for the style points? Yeah, I think it's just for the style. <laughs> No, we need to put this fire extinguisher. Extin yeah, extinguisher. extinguisher. Yeah, it's been a long time we want to have this on the cockpit and for a longer crossing I think it's important to have one on the cockpit so we're gonna just tie the support with zip ties to the seat. That's that's the best we could think of right now. We could put like some screws. I don't wanna screw anything to the wood. For now that's gonna hold. Even though our gas bottle is not empty, we are going to replace it for a full one because we might run out of gas in the middle of the trip and it's not going to be good. We are leaving in 24 hours. We tried to check out the other day, but they didn't allow us because it needs to be 24 hours earlier. So now we're 24 hours before and we're gonna check out Yay! Brazil today. We are 24 We are 24 hours before leaving Brazil. That's it just it's insane how the noise. Yeah, it's insane how it doesn't feel like we don't realize that I think until we actually leave. I don't think we can film here because the federal no. police seems like we're out. We're in Brazil, but we're not in Brazil anymore. 
thing was much easier than I believed it was gonna be. Last job of the day is to buy veggies in Real. It's my favorite part of the day. Yeah, we're gonna buy a lot of veggies now. We didn't buy any yet, so we have all the provisioning done. Except this, because we're leaving tomorrow. We want to buy the day before, so it's all fresh and can last for longer. And everything in this open air market looks so good, so colorful, and yeah. it smells fresh. Yeah, it's a veggie market. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's a, we call public market in Brazil. It's like a mercado público. Don't have a ton of these in the United States, and when you do, they're just way more expensive. Uh, here, here's pretty good. We have I these like everywhere, actually. <laughs> Our last hours in Brazil, I'm smelling all the smells I can, I'm listening to songs, I'm enjoying the weather, it's a beautiful night, no rain, it's so good. And for our last night in Brazil, Ben, our crew, decided to treat us with an amazing dinner at the fancy restaurant of the marina. Two hours to go and we are out, I think we deserve our last break and we are gonna go to the swimming pool for the last time because you know, we need to rest a little bit before we start the hard work of saving for 20 days and also because this club is awesome that's a really really good spot to you know get the boat ready to leave brazil because you work hard and you play hard so it's pretty good you can work hard and then you go to swim pool and then you work hard and it's convenient to be able to fix the boat here and get the boat ready for a crossing and also it's really close every all these stores are you get an uber ride it's like i don't know two dollars Two bucks, yeah. It's like one and a, one dollar and fifty, and you get a, a Uber ride to a mall, and you can get a Uber ride to a shopping mall, and to a market. store, and market, and grocery stores. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. So let's go to the swimming pool and go <laughs> offshore. No, first, 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 I want to show something. We have six waters here. We're gonna have two here. We have these fruits here. This one's on your head. <laughs> oh, we have. Where is the. There's a challenge going on. I, I love challenges. <laughs> so, we want to play Gammon for 15 to 20 days. Me and him. And who loses? Get the tattoo of the game on board. <laughs> Just to make sure you remember, you lost the international Brazilian Caribbean game <laughs> contest of Gammon. So, <laughs> oh, sheets are here. Oh, oh, no, no. And, and have the second, second uh, challenge is that if I win every single one of the games he is gonna call me my lord for the rest of his life but if he wins every single game how do you want to be called don benjamin don benjamin don. Yeah. of respect yeah so <laughs> if i lose every single one of the games i'm gonna call him don benjamin okay right. it's a challenge, challenge. Yeah. accept it accept it let's go one last thing we also have the iridium finally installed i'm not sure if i showed you already but the iridium is permanently right now it's red because it's charging so the Iridium is going to be installed permanently here and we can have the Wi-Fi from Iridium on the computer. So I already downloaded the weather for the first days. And in this way we can know exactly where we need to be to, in order to get the good current because this passage, the main thing is to keep on the current because the current is really good. But if you get a little bit off, the current is against. So it's really important to be always on the right side of the current. And the way we are gonna get the weather is through predicting, and also we have some so short support for that. And we are really, really thankful for our friends that are helping us to, you know, keep an eye on the boat from shore and to keep an eye on the forecast for us and to try to help us to get the right routing during the trip. So the way we're gonna communicate is through email, through Iridium. So we can talk every day and they can say, no, go a little bit more north, go a little bit more south, try to get to this waypoint. And in this way, we can get the best weather and have the best trip and short support for weather and for everything else. It's really good when you're gonna crossing because you make, it makes us feel safe and also makes our family feel safer because they know someone that really understands about weather is helping us out and is taking us to the best route as possible and in this way everyone is happy because if your family is not happy you are not happy before we go to the swimming pool there are some things that i want to show you so here is the schedule so who is gonna be on watch and what to do we're gonna have a logbook so the logbook is gonna be filled every 12 hours and also 
we have a full freezer and a full fridge I think we are set to go ah and we also have the shore power on 92% of battery but we have a beautiful day today so I think it's not gonna be a problem so one of the goals for this trip is to try to use the wind vane as much as possible because I think the conditions are gonna be perfect for that and also I think it's gonna be entertaining to watch the wind vane working and also we'll save some battery and we save the quadrant because this goes straight to the tiller doesn't force the quadrant, I think it's pretty good yeah. all set to go but we don't have dips on leaving yeah our friends are leaving really soon I don't know if you can see but the big mess back there I think we showed them already they actually own the boat that used to be for my uncles and they're also gonna leave here today to the same place you're leaving of course they're gonna be faster they're like a 50 foot much lighter sailboat but they have a long queue so they need to leave in like half an hour otherwise they are not able to leave they need to go on the totally high tide we're not so we're gonna leave let them go first and then the guys from shore support on the yacht club are gonna have lunch and after lunch at 1 p.m we are out that's so cool i can't wait yeah this is it's been a long long time dream of mine to travel to different countries and to meet different cultures and Finally, finally it's coming true. This entire year we sailed the Brazilian coast and that was just amazing to get to know our backyard and to get to know different places that we never even thought that they exist on our own country. But it's time to go. It's time to go discover new cultures, to learn new language. It's gonna be awesome. Like, it's just uh, no words. I think we need to leave because I cannot wait anymore. You, boa viagem. That's so cool. Our friends are leaving. We are on the way. Another one hour and we are going after them. I sailed that boat like seven years ago a few times. Yeah, that's my uncle's boat. That's pretty cool. Right that's on. awesome. You know, like they're just leaving for like Maybe 15 we'll days. Down. Who knows? Yes. <laughs> Bad seamates. Sailing berth ready. Sailing mode. Okay. Whoever's sleeping is going to have to get up if we have to use those anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's full comfy bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's important though. <laughs> Bed's ready, number it's one. Like kids <laughs> <laughs> he wants to try. You fit. It's good. <laughs> yeah, I like it. right. Food here, this is the snacks. Baking things, fast food. <laughs> and what, what else? Water. This is gonna be a storage place. This is our gear, mine and Duca's. Bed is quite organized. <laughs> Not organized, but ready to go to bed. We are filling the water tank. And I think that's it. We are ready to go. We just need to go to the swimming pool and upload this video for you guys. Talking about patrons, Casey, welcome to our patron family. And Flavio, thanks so much for the PayPal donation. Oh. <laughs> we see you soon when we leave to the Caribbean. Right now. Time for a shower, the last one in a... Long time, yeah. Next ones are gonna be like really quick showers and not like an actual hot shower. So you need to, you know... Enjoy it. Enjoy the last one while we can. I'm gonna go to the shower, bye. next week when we finally untie the lines we are leaving to the Caribbean here we go and unfortunately things go wrong on the first night of the passage oops I just said too much <laughs> <laughs>